In this video, we will review the proper installation procedure of a Rayclick PC-powered connection kit, including the mounting of a pipe bracket and the installation of an end seal. Note that there are various different types of Rayclick components, all of which follow a similar installation procedure. The only difference being the number of heating cable connections in the fitting. Consult your specific Rayclick component installation manual for detailed information. First, let's review and double check that your Rayclick PC Power Connection Kit contains all the necessary items you will need in order to perform the installation. Inside your kit you should find one Rayclick Power Connection Fitting, one pipe stand bracket, two plastic cable ties, one ground braid clip, one Rayclick plain end seal, four labels, one de-icing and snow melting, two warning, and one packet of cable lubricant. In addition, check that you also have the following set of standard tools in your kit. Do not proceed until you do. For this demonstration, we will be mounting the Rayclick PC on a water pipe using a pipe mounting bracket. First, find the optimum location for the Rayclick PC to be installed and using the plastic cable ties, attach the pipe mounting bracket to the pipe. Now, ensure that the heating cable, H watt, XL, Trace, Raysol, or Ice Stop is installed properly on the pipe and that there is a service loop at the location where the Rayclick will be installed. A service loop is done by orienting the Rayclick PC on the pipe with the conduit fitting facing towards the electrical junction box and bending the heating cable 180 degrees looping back towards the other end of the Rayclick PC allowing at least 12 inches of heating cable slack in order to make the connection. Now, to install the Rayclick, take the end of your heating cable to be connected, H watt in this case, and cut the end square with your wire cutters. Place a mark 3 and 1 8 of an inch from the end of the cable, and score around and down the middle towards the end of the cable, being careful not to cut too deeply into the metal ground braid or the inner jacket. Then, remove the outer jacket by stripping it off the heating cable. Next, install the ground braid clip over the heating cable by pinching it lightly in place using your fingers and sliding the clip up the cable until it touches the outer jacket. Using your wire cutters, cut away one inch of the ground braid from the end of the heating cable and pull the exposed braid back over the ground braid clip and the outer jacket. If terminating the H watt heating cable, be sure to remove the aluminum foil wrap from the front of the ground braid clip by carefully cutting it with your utility knife. Your cable end is now prepped and ready to be inserted into the end of the Rayclick PC. Now, apply a small amount of supplied cable lubricant to the heating cable just in front of the ground braid clip. Make sure to avoid using large amounts of lubricant on the exposed end of the cable and insert the prepared end of heating cable into the Rayclick PC fitting by pushing the cable through the gland nut and rubber boot into the connector. Push the heating cable into the Rayclick PC fitting until the end is fully visible through both window openings in the cover plate. Note that Rayclick connection kits are designed to be installed only once and the heating cable cannot be removed and reinserted into the component fitting. Continue by tightening the Torx head connection screws with the Torx screwdriver, alternating between them as they are being tightened. Also, tighten the gland nut on the heating cable entry until the rubber grommet is compressed. Double check that all screws are fully tightened as loose screws can cause excessive heating and become a fire hazard. For other powered and non-powered Rayclick kits, such as a splice, T or cross, make sure that you repeat the same steps covered so far in this installation for each additional heating cable end being inserted. Finally, close the lid and snap the lever shut. If the lid does not close easily, Check the connection to ensure that all screws are fully tightened. Do not force the lid closed. Now, tape the last part of the heating cable flush to the pipe to complete the service loop and 
snap the Rayclick PC fitting into the pipe bracket to secure it in place. Using the two wrenches, attach a user-supplied 1 half inch threaded conduit fitting to the end of the Rayclick PC fitting body. Avoid using excessive pressure and breaking the female conduit fitting on the Rayclick PC. Now, attach a half inch flexible conduit from the fitting in the Rayclick PC to a 2 by 4 inch junction box located within 6 feet of the Rayclick PC. Fish the wires from the Rayclick PC through the conduit up to the junction box, leaving at least 6 inches of wire in order to make final connections to line voltage. At this point you will have completed the setup of the Rayclick PC. If you wish to install your Rayclick fitting on a rooftop or flat wall mount, please refer to your manual for the proper procedure. Now let's proceed to the installation of the end seal. Note that an end seal can be installed only once and it cannot be removed from the heating cable once inserted, so do not use it until ready for final installation. If installing a plain end seal, cut the end of the heating cable square with your wire cutters. Then, measure one inch from the end of the cable and place a mark on the sheath. At this location, score around and down the middle towards the end of the heating cable, being careful not to cut too deeply into the metal ground braid or inner cable. And remove the outer jacket off the cable now, using your wire cutters, remove the metallic ground braid. If terminating H-Watt heating cable, make sure to also remove the aluminum foil wrap with your utility knife. And finally, push the Rayclick E plain end seal into the prepared end of the heating cable. It is normal for some of the dielectric gel inside of the end seal to ooze out. Just wipe it down with a clean cloth or rag. To finalize the setup, tape the end of the heating cable to the pipe with some glass tape and perform a voltage test using your multimeter after connecting to line voltage. This now concludes the proper installation of your Rayclick PC-powered connection kit.